A day may come when the courage of men fails, when we forsake our friends and break all bonds of fellowship. But it is not this day. An hour of wolves and shattered shields when the age of men comes crashing down. But it is not this day. This day we fight by all that you hold dear on this good earth. I bid you stand, men of the West! Hello, everybody. I'm the Last Pretender, and this is our MA Man Redemption series. We're on turn number 84. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. So, uh, one of the things that we did is we did empower one of our liches with air. Now, empowering does not piss off astral corruption, because it's not technically a spell. So, that's a good thing. Uh, we did get some of our Logri and Wise Men uh, killed by horrors, um, as I needed them to make a couple of items, particularly like a, a, a air shield uh, robe and stuff like that. Uh, our, uh, our, our good old Tartarian, our Earth Tartarian, still flipping out and doing weird stuff. Uh, we can see a battle going on here um, with uh, our favorite nation of Phaeacia. Um and uh they're going up against a little little, little bloopy from all not a big deal but uh basically me and fiesha are going to be kind of uh doing a little bit of a rush to see if we can actually um uh, take out all quickly so that's exciting uh end still having <laughs> issues with weird independence um which is pretty classic uh a thousand of my dudes left these, this music that my people hear, my people just, man, just, the music just captures their hearts. And they just, there's nothing they can, they just have to follow it. Uh, and that's sort of an irritating problem that I enjoy. We can see some bad things happening in Queen Forest. Uh, that ultimately ends in a big battle in Queen Forest. In which case, uh, our guys do get, uh, do get spankarooed by some vinemen and such. So that's kind of obnoxious. Uh, as far as this, the the uh, battle arena that which we knew was coming a while ago because uh, Mirden here actually predicted it. So, right now you can see lots of red. <laughs> now, what is this? What are all these streaks of red? They are troopers. I am trying to move. Um, you can see that there's lots of them. I'm sorry. I hope you can't hear that, but I bet you can. Uh, there are lots of troopers I'm moving from outside provinces. You can see lots of uh, boots of seven miles stride and such being used to try and funnel in troops to recover uh, the devastating loss I experienced uh, from what can only be described as uh, um, a horrifying endeavor uh, involving a queen of elemental air absolutely wrecking uh, my mage core. But you can see lots of troopers coming in to reinforce. A lot of them are geared out pretty heavy, so... We're feeling okay about this. Um, yeah, that looks pretty tasty. So that's what we're doing and we're gonna can prepare for our next push um, into here. So uh, that's basically what I've got going on here. Um, otherwise, you can see that I've got, I'm trying to get some scouts over into Vanheim to kind of see how the war is gonna be going on with Vanheim against, uh, particularly Naba and Ind are gonna be doing lots of work there. Um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of torn because a part of me wants Naba and In to stamp on Vanheim because I hate Astral Corruption. But part of me is like, I don't know, it's not that bad. Like, you know, everybody hates Vanheim. Maybe it'll take a while and I can eat home while nobody really notices. That would be pretty cool. A uh, sort of deadlock, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, we got Hector over here. He's rallying some troops. You can see he's got quite a few landless knights and we're just, we're funneling everything we've got. Um, we're actually uh, still hanging out here. You can see, if you recall, I did this test a couple days ago um, where I, I put these five up here to see how my, my disease healing was going with a gift of health. And you can see one of them, one of the wounds is healed. So 20% of my guys have healed up their, their wounds if you think about it. So, you know, uh, this army is going to start getting healthier by the minute, which is pretty excellent news uh, as far as I'm concerned. We're, uh, we're recruiting uh, lots of mages at this point in time. That's where most of our, our money is actually going towards. We're not recruiting as many, but we are recruiting in some places. Uh, but you can see in most places we're really not recruiting that many troops. We're recruiting some in some places, but 
our primary goal is to recruit mages to try and recover because those are kind of the big things that we're losing. We've got lots of dudes. Uh, our concern is to try and get lots of mage arenas. So, uh, and where one of the places we're funneling to is Copper Canyon. You can see right here, we're actually sending some guys over here in case he tries to get cute and attack that. So, those are sort of the situations we got going on. We're going to go ahead and claim this throne, which is going to be quite nice as it's going to give us three nature gems per turn. Uh, one thing that I don't know if I've mentioned before, but that I did ultimately do, is I ended up forging the Sword of Injustice, which gives you a plus one to Priest, which is very, very helpful considering the fact that I can summon Mound Fiends. So Mound Fiends are, are level two Priests. You give them the Sword of Injustice, they're level three. Boom, not a big deal. Uh, so that's quite helpful. Uh, there are some other things that I, I, I kind of want to do once this uh, goes away uh, to kind of have a few more level three priests, but we'll worry about that when the time comes. Right here is the Queen of the Forest where I lost it. Uh, I would like to retake this as it does provide quite a few water gems. I mean, look at that. That's five water gems right there. Was it six water gems? Six water gems, an earth gem, and a nature gem. Like, oof, really got to retake that. Um, don't. I don't remember what my plan was to actually retake it, but at some point in time, we're going to have to move troops over to do that. Uh, we're still continuing to move our, uh, if you look right here, we're con still continuing to move our fire mages on over. Uh, with the ultimate goal, I believe, of our flame spirits is trying to get two of them in the same army, even though that might be a little superfluous, uh, so that I can cast like fire fend and heat from hell as a combo, uh, because that would be awesome because then our guys are resistant to fire and it's gonna scorch a lot of uh, our big bad fiends. Let me take a look at uh, Heat From Hell. I believe it's evocation. Maybe it's enchantment. Yes, Heat From Hell's enchantment. Um, and you'll also notice one thing that's really nice about Heat From Hell is it's more effective in warm provinces. And basically, uh, besides Ulm, every single person's dominion has gone heat scales <laughs> like almost everybody i think everybody is actually heat scales except for Alm. uh so if we kill Alm, heat from hell is going to be very nice um and even against Alm, it's going to be good uh, particularly if we start getting into uh if we get out of spring and get into summer and that sort of thing um so we're doing that and just a ton of troops are getting shifted around i mean that's really one of the big things that we see happening here so that way we can try and recover a little bit from the the devastation that we lost earlier otherwise that's all that's really going on i don't think anybody is going to fight yeah i don't think i'm sending anybody to go fight in the arena so uh yeah we'll go ahead and end the turn there and hop on over to turn 85 what what maybe i should just do this like a short video just see how that goes see what people think about that um so uh, you can see that uh, a throne got claimed. Uh, a throne also a throne also got claimed here by Nabah. Um, so that's pretty good for him. Uh, Grace Kelly, I forgot what she did. She forged an item, and I don't remember what it was. Uh, but you can see right here that she gets immediately attacked by horrors. And let's see how this goes. So she's gonna cast swarm. Boom. And she's going to cast Fire Blast. And, uh, yeah, they just, yeah, that swarm does not hold. So she does kill one of them and set another one on fire. Uh, but unfortunately, she gets murderified. I was hoping that her, uh, her armor of returning was going to stop her from getting killed. Did not succeed. So that was sort of unfortunate for me. Uh, we do get an, inf we do try to infiltrate, uh, with a bard into Vanheim, but we do not succeed. Uh, and we can see here some more battles are going on between Naba and Van Heim. Uh, this is actually quite a, a substantial little battle here. We can see uh, Naba is using a lot of these guys who hit like trucks, particularly with that axe. Um, they're dual wielders. They're very good units. Pretty healthy for the most part. Like that dude's super hurt, but like this dude's not as hurt. He's got 12 HP. See, these guys are pretty tanky. They got that protection going. They have Berserk, which is really good. Um, he's got some uh, some uh, some sacreds right here, and let's watch how this battle goes. If I recall correctly, this is a slaughter. So fire is something Nabal likes a lot. 
you can see this is a quite a significant army of his. You can see he's got all kinds of dudes. Like he's got this dude who's like freaking out of control. I mean, look at this dude. I don't even know how you get this dude. He's some sort of special summon that he gets. Um, he's got like this dude who's super out of control. Jesus Christ. Whew, that is strong. But, uh, and you can see a lot of his sacreds are out on the field. Um, oof, fire. It's happening, people. Look at this. Flame storm coming down. I mean, these guys cannot handle this. <laughs> yeah, without the fire resist. Jeez. Mmm. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, Nabat's pretty spooky. You can see he casts uh, Solar Eclipse. Um, and I believe... I don't know why he casts Solar Eclipse. His guys do not have Dark Vision. But he did cast it. Heat from Hell has come down along with Firestorm. Um, and you can see it was a freaking massacre. Now he did lose two little, little, little duders, but not a big deal. And just smash this little force from Vanheim. Uh, and not an insignificant force from what I suspect Vanheim can muster. Uh, so that was a big deal. Uh, literally nobody sent anyone to an arena, so I really fucked up on that move. Uh, but, uh, let's see here. Some more people left because they heard those banging tunes that my people love so much. My people just love the music. It just, it just carries them away. Uh, we got some enchantment completed, which is nice. So we're going up to, uh, uh, enchantment. We got enchantment nine. We're going to evocation nine. So that's pretty good. Or at least it will be pretty good once we get rid of, uh, astral corruption. Uh, some random events happened that are not really that important. We got a lab here, which is pretty cool and a windmaster, but no, uh, that's really that huge of a deal. It's actually going to be kind of more of an irritation for majority of the time. Um, you can see that my, my weird... <laughs> Tartarian is just killing a lot of people, so that's excellent. Um, now, I'll take a look at this over here for a hot second. So taking a look over here, we got a bunch of these little cloud dudes who I'm just going to have them do research. Having air twos are nice. Uh, one of the nice things is you can turn one arrow friend. So one of the nice things that I end up starting to use air twos for, though I, I don't know if I'm using it quite this moment for that, is that an air two, if you, if you gym them right, can just turn one cast because arrowfend wait it's enchantment arrowfend is an air three spell so they can just turn one arrowfend and just be like boom if you want to do like i mean the dream would be to have like a turn one fog warriors but like you'd have to be like i don't, I don't even but like they can't do it really it's sort of unfortunate because they just don't have enough uh air magicum on them but they can turn one arrowfend which is pretty nice um I believe you need to be air four to do turn one fog warriors. Let's see if I have an air three somewhere to check it. I don't quite remember. I don't think I have an air three anywhere right now, which is a sad state of affairs. I really hope you can't hear um, my neighbors being loud, but so it goes. Um, yeah, I don't think I have an air three anywhere, which is too bad, but uh, regardless, you can see that, uh, we've gotten quite a few troopers that we're funneling on in. Our first place is to funnel a lot of mages into here, and then they're going to group up and all hit right here at the same time. Um, you can see these guys are still hanging out. You can see this army is actually going to be the main army. I've kind of switched things around. Um, and my main army is going to go ahead and slam into this one, into this army right here. Um, and we'll see, we'll see what kind of spells he's going to cast. Um, we're gonna go ahead and use this uh, this little wolf boy right here and his uh, his 20 wolves to go try and take this province. I think that'd be pretty nice. Um, also, this dude, our little iron angel, is gonna go take this province. And that's basically what we got going on right now in our lives. Uh, quite a few troopers are moving around, a lot of sneaking, and we are just, uh, just cramming as much as we humanly possibly can uh, into the, uh, the this war against Ulm to have a ton of mages so that way we can kind of replenish what we lost which should not be a problem uh you can see quite a few mages are, are building up right here so no big deal no big deal now part of i think if i recall correctly part of my plan was to take this mage core which is pretty good and force it into here and then next turn bring some more mages and follow there so that way if he uh flames from the sky hits this mage core it'll hit all these guys but the reinforcements will come in after and it won't hit them 
believe that was my thought process. Uh, you can see right here we've got some gnomes coming in to reinforce, you know, the classic, uh, the classic uh, uh, lich, you know, with that five death magic, some more troops. It's just, it's just funneling everything we've got uh, to go ahead and, and drop, drop some fools. Uh, taking a look here, we can see that that battles are, are being waged quite extensively throughout uh, the empire of uh, of Vanheim. We can see now Vanheim is now sieging this. This fortress has just been sieged constantly. <laughs> People who live here must be very sad. Um, so it's under siege. I'm not terribly worried if because uh, Vanheim and I do have a nap three at this point, but everything seems to be going pretty smooth, and uh, I feel like. Uh, we can go ahead and uh, hmm, do we want to call it here? It's been 15 minutes. What do you guys think? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. Let me go ahead and double check and make sure there's nothing else. But yeah, you can see right here, I've got one. So I, I was doing it. Where where did he go? Where did he go? This guy. Yeah, you can see that uh, this cloud boy right here, this windmaster, he's gonna turn one arrow. Uh, he's gonna turn one arrow fend. And that is very helpful against the the million um, uh, iron blizzards and stuff that are going to come out from Ulm. That really hurts him. So uh, that's very effective. And uh, yeah, we're not too real worried about the rest of this. None of this army really spooks me. So away we go. Anything else I super care about? Hmm. Uh, I don't really recall too much else. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, some research getting done. You can see right here, as far as research goes, that we were going to knock out evocation, but after that, there's just conjuration next. And conjuration nine gives us like nothing. Uh, in fact, it might literally give us nothing. I don't know. Um, conjuration gives you something. I don't remember. Uh, but nothing I'm probably going to cast. I mean, siege golems, who cares? Um, iron dragons, not going to be used probably. Uh, in part because earth gems are not something I have a, a huge amount of. Poison golems are kind of interesting, but uh, I don't think I'm realistically going to use too many of them. And juggernauts are uh, not really something I think I'm going to focus on. But it will be nice to have Construction 9 anyway. And then we'll go into Blood Magic, but uh, as part of, you know, I'm not going to use Blood Magic. I'm just not going to do it. I'm too cool. Too cool for school. You know, I'm not a bad guy. I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy who sometimes uses necromancy. Uh, and so I'm not going to do any of that blood magic stuff. These ladies are all hanging out. And uh, yeah, we're continuing our war. Uh, the big uh, the big event that's going to happen next uh, next turn or so is going to be our continued invasion into Ulm. As we're going to go ahead and try and take out uh, this fortress right here, which seems to be quite heavily fortified. Um, it may be sort of a last stand that's going down. Uh, and part of the reason of this focus is we're going to want to rush because we can clearly see that uh, that um, our uh, our rivals are, are trying to expand equally into all, and we would like to get a few more provinces than him. So, with all that said, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and just cut it right here. So, uh, what else? Is there anything else? I don't think so. Just shipping more troops south. Um, we're not able to, we're still able to summon allies because that's not a spell, but so we're going to get more, more doggos, but, uh, nothing, uh, too exciting as we're not able to cast any spells that are rituals. Uh, we are going to ship, uh, some of these troops you can see on over to the north, um, because we're going to want to have some forces rounded up around here for two reasons. The first reason is just in case, uh, we end up at war with, uh, Vanheim and Vanheim wins this and also to uh, end right we don't know when end is going to ultimately turn on us and uh, if you look kind of here it's it's uh, quite a bit of territory that I don't know that end is because his capital is like right here if I recall correctly so I don't know that end is realistically going to be able to uh, to defend this terribly easy and this is quite a an extensive chunk of land so we're going to be sending troops to here and here to kind of shore up our our forces here. Also, we're going to want, uh, you can see Hector's bringing an army over here because we're going to want to prepare because presumably if we kill Ulm quickly, we're going to end up at war with Vanheim in the very near future. So that's what we got going on. 
Um, anyway, I've been The Last Pretender, and I'll see you guys next time.